Dr. King was a real man. You know he was a Republican. Dr. King a Republican? Democrats passed those black codes and Jim Crow laws. Democrats started the Ku Klux Klan. White hoods and sheets? Democrats fought all civil rights legislation from the 1860s to the 1960s. Democrats released those vicious dogs and fire hoses on blacks. Seriously? And the Dixiecrats remained Democrats and vowed to vote for a yellow dog before a Republican. Republicans freed us from slavery and put our right to vote in the Constitution. What? Republicans started the NAACP, Affirmative Action, and the HBCU. Sounds like Democrats have bamboozled blacks. Democrats blocked the minimum wage passed by Republicans, and over $200 billion have been spent on education, health care, and job training since President Bush took office. So Democrats want to keep us poor while voting only Democrat. Democrats want us to accept same-sex marriages, teen abortions without a parent's consent, and suing the Boy Scouts for saying God in their pledge. See, we need to think and vote on our own values. Exactly. Democrats have talked the talk, but the Republicans have walked the walk. Girl, it's time for us to do, do the, the walk. Ku Klux Klan was the terrorist arm of the Democratic Party. KKK Grand Dragon Nathan Bedford Forrest wrote in The Klan's The Courier Magazine, 1928, I've never voted for any man who wasn't a regular Democrat. The founders of the Democratic Party. Liberal historian Eric Foner wrote in A Short History of Reconstruction, founded in 1866 as a Tennessee social club, the Ku Klux Klan spread into nearly every southern state, launching a reign of terror against Republican leaders, black and white. In the Democratic Party must apologize to blacks now for their confessed racism and failed socialism. Reverend Wayne Perryman did five years of research, wrote a book called Unfounded Loyalty, and sued the Democratic Party for their 200 years of racism. Under oath in court, the Democrats confessed but refused to apologize because they know they can take the black vote for granted. When the Wilmington Commission confirmed in 2006 that the Democrats went on a bloody rampage against blacks in 1898, the Democrats in North Carolina did the right thing. They apologized. It's time for the National Democrat leaders to apologize for the rest of their atrocities against blacks. Help us hold the Democrats accountable for their confessed racism and failed socialism that's caused so much harm to blacks. Uncle Tom, Aunt Jemima, sellout. That's what Democrats call blacks who think for themselves. Black Democrat Juan Williams was attacked for writing a book called Enough, the Phony Leader. dead-end movements and culture of failure that are undermining black America. Liberal historian Eric Foner revealed how Democrats supported slavery, opposed all civil rights laws from the 1860s to the 1960s, and started the Ku Klux Klan that was the terrorist arm of the Democratic Party. Author Michael Scheuer summed up the Democratic Party as the party of the four S's, slavery, secession, segregation, and now socialism. Help us hold the Democrats accountable for their confessed racism and failed socialism that's caused so much harm to blacks. The Democratic Party takes the black vote for granted, and that's not good. Look at the deplorable conditions in black communities run by Democrats for the past 40 years. It's time to dump the dead-end Democrats and join the Republican march to economic freedom. The Republican Party has always been the party of freedom and equality for blacks. Republican Party principles of strong families, personal responsibility, getting a good education and ownership of homes and small businesses offer the pathway to prosperity.